So the next step would be linking this payment option to the summary, right? So I would need to do a link from to summary like so, and also this one, because you don't know if you're going from this screen to the summary or the option one screen to the summary. So you need to do both. The last page is the summary page. And let's just link the pay button to the loading. And let's go back here later on. Before I want to move on, I want to link the back buttons right now. So let's link it back to the screen before. That would go like so. Also, this button goes back and also back like so. Now, you see here that it gets a bit complicated, but no worries, you manage. I have a loading screen, as you can see, and I want to simulate the loading because when you do payments, it takes a bit of time loading. So I can go to this screen and link this loading screen to the confirmation page. But it would be something special. It won't have an action on top, but you would say after delay. So if you arrive in this loading screen, it would go to the next action after 300 milliseconds, which is three seconds, and it would navigate to the confirmation page. So let's check that out and say play. I'm at the summary page. I'm going to press pay. Now you see the loading and automatically I'm at the confirmation page. So one little tip I want to show you here is that to add this as an animation, you could add a little GIF image that is already a loading screen and it'll just play that. So let's just finish up on this prototype. I'm at the confirmation page. Then what happens if I do continue shopping? I go back to the product list page. So let's make that link and go back to the product list like so.